Hey what's up guys it's Joe here and in this quick little tutorial I'm going to teach you how to do slow motion camera movements in Cinema 4D. So um, it's just an example that I created and it's an intro so I use the slow motion camera in this intro so I'll just show you an example. So as you can see at the start it goes pretty fast and then towards the middle it slows down like that and then it speeds up again at the end and what I did is I combined it with some sound effects that just made it seem more believable make it seem like it was actually in slow motion but um, to do this we're going to go into Cinema 4D and uh, it's not too complicated to do actually so this is all you have to do it's just these keyframes here so it doesn't look too difficult I'm just going to hide this camera and bring in a new one So I'm going to hit the stopwatch at zero keyframe, at zero frames and make a keyframe like that. Go forward to about 30 frames and uh, I'm going forward to 30 frames because you want this uh, first transition to be pretty uh, fast. So 30 frames is about right and go to the auto keyframe button and just zoom in a bit and go up a bit like that. <coughs> And then I'm going to go forward one frame and make another keyframe like that. So we just have this so far. And then uh, this is going to be the transition between the two camera movements. So I'm going to go to 40 frames, hit the stopwatch, and just move the camera around like that. And then go forward one frame and make a keyframe. So we have this. Like that, and you can speed up this transition between the two camera movements by just selecting these double keyframes and just moving them closer to the first two double keyframes or the first double keyframe. But I think 40 frames is good, otherwise, it looks a bit too fast, so that's fine. And then we're going to go to about 150 frames because this is going to be the slow motion, and we're just going to move the camera just a tiny bit, just rotate it a tiny bit like that. And the trick is not to move it too much, otherwise it won't look like it's in slow motion. And go forward one frame and hit the stopwatch again. So we have this. And then it's moving pretty slowly like that. And then we want it to speed up again, so about 160 frames. We're just going to hit the auto button and just make it so it's facing the camera straight on. That's pretty good. Go forward one frame, make a keyframe like that. So it's slowing down and then it speeds up. And then finally we can go to about 250 frames and we're just going to zoom out. So this is it. That's all you have to do, it's not too difficult. And it's pretty good results actually, it was pretty good. And yeah, so you can do that on lots of different intros, there's lots of different uh, places where you can use it. It's uh, quite a good technique to use, it looks pretty good. And as I said, uh, combine it with some sound effects like I did. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.